stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist Directs you where to go So make the best of this test And don't ask why It's not a question But a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see I'll be the light To guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.
things are supposed to do oh yeah It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. No, all the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Uh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling stronger with small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got everything i went through you were standing there by my side and now you're gonna be with me for the last ride you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh I'll tell you all about it when I see you again when I see Loving can hurt Loving can hurt sometimes But it's the only thing that I know When it gets hard You know it can get hard sometimes us feel alive <laughs> we 
Keep this love in a photograph We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken and Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone Wait for me to come home Loving can heal Loving can mend your soul When you die, mm -hmm. keep this love in this photograph. We made these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, hearts were never broken, time's forever frozen still. So you can keep. Back on 6th Street Hearing you whisper through the phone You're at the top of the mountain Wait for me to come home Another turning point A fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life
something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see I'll be the light To guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. are supposed to do all oh yeah. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. Ah, uh, how can we not 
talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long way Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. From where we began you know, we started. Oh, I'll tell you You both go out your way and the vibe is feeling stronger with small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got everything i went through you were standing there by my side and now you're gonna be with me for the last so ride let the light guide your way yeah hold every memory as you go and every road you you my friend and i'll tell you all about it when i see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh i'll tell you all about it when i see you again when i see Loving can hurt Loving can hurt sometimes But it's the only thing that I know and When it gets hard You know it can get hard sometimes It is the only thing that makes us feel Time. 
almost back on 6th street Hearing you whisper through the phone You're the top of the mountain Wait for me to come home Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Yourself stuck in the middle of the sea. I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. And then you turn and then you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.
what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. Ah, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gonna be with me for the last ride. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Academy of the Redwoods graduating class of 2019. My name is Chris Cox and I have had the pleasure to be the principal this school year. Tonight we not, we, we not only honor the graduating students on stage but many of the adults who have helped guide them along this path. 
Academy of Redwoods is successful due to the dedicated teachers and staff that give so much time and energy to each of our students as they begin their path towards achieving their goals and their dreams. I'd like to invite the AR teachers and staff to stand and be recognized. I'd like to thank the Fortuna Union School District Board of Trustees who support the creation of Academy, who continue to ensure that families in Humboldt County have a choice in where they send their children to high school. Attending tonight are trustees Charles Ellerbrecht, I knew I'd mess that one up, sorry, Seth McGrath and Carla Diaz. Also in attendance tonight is Fortuna Union High School District Superintendent Glenn Sinistaro. Will the board members and Mr. Sinistaro please stand for recognition. AR would not be possible without the partnerships that started between the Fortuna Union High School District, the College of the Redwoods, and Humboldt County Vo Office of Education. We thank you for your continued support of AR. I'd like to start off by inviting Eagle Scout Caleb Kranz onto the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everybody please rise? Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd now like to invite one of AR's outstanding teachers and our academic advisor, Allison Hodges, to the stage to share some special awards. Yay. Imagine young people entering into the ninth grade eager to succeed in school. Until now, their grades may not have revealed their promise. Several have tremendous obstacles to overcome, and most are just seeking a place where they can belong. Within four years, these young people sitting before you have all completed several transferable college units, have made a positive impact on our community through over a thousand hours of community service, and will always hold a very special place in our hearts and in the AR community. I think I speak on behalf of the AR staff when I say that it's our honor and privilege to have played a small part in your journey. It is an absolute pleasure to share this incredible milestone with you and your families. Tonight we celebrate your hard work, your dedication, and your tremendous accomplishments. Now we get to give away some money. Scholarship awards. So many of these guys have already received um, some financial aid and scholarships through their universities and through other private organizations. Um, but the ones that we get to present tonight are a surprise to all of the students who will be receiving them. So let's get started, let's see. The first scholarship is from the Fortuna Union High Schools Teachers Association. It's a scholarship in the amount of $333. We have three schools in our district and we like to select a student from each school. You could probably do the math in your head and figure out how much money we give away each year. So this scholarship, I'm proud to present to Ms. Ariana Castillo.
I wish we had cameras on their faces at the announcement. Okay, well, I guess we do. <laughs> so the next scholarship is in the amount of $500. It's from the Nicholas Family Scholarship Fund, and this one is awarded to Mr. Gardner Boyce. The next scholarship to be awarded tonight is the Eldred I. Bo McMillan Fund. It's in the amount of $850, and it's being awarded to Joe Ignacio. The Association of California School Administrators Scholarship for the Region 1 area in the amount of $1,000 has been awarded to Caitlin Nolan. Our next scholarship will be presented by a representative from the McLean Foundation. Please help me welcome to the stage, Ms. Trisha Besson-Sanini. Good evening. I'm here to give away other people's money. It's my favorite thing to do. My name is Trisha Besantini, and I have the privilege of serving on the McLean Foundation Scholarship Fund Committee. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the McLean Foundation, which was established in honor of Mel and Grace McLean, the founders of Eel River Sawmills. Mel and Grace lived and worked in the Eel River Valley while employing hundreds of people with good paying jobs and benefits. They deeply cared for their employees and their community. The foundation was created to carry on their legacy. Its mission is to empower communities in the Eel River Valley and Humboldt County by providing funding, leadership, and support. Since its beginning, the McLean Foundation has funded over 1,400 grants, supporting over 500 nonprofit organizations, and put over $15 million into our local community. They are currently undertaking their biggest gift to our community with the construction of the new Gene Lucas Community Center. This campus will house multiple organizations that together will offer classes, programs, services, rentals, and event space. It will truly be a place to gather, to learn, and to be. In 2015, the McLean Foundation set up this scholarship fund to help support local Eel River Valley High School students who want to stay in Humboldt County to learn locally and create a better and more educated community. The desire of the foundation is to provide students with a generous scholarship to aid in their education at either Humboldt State University or College of the Redwoods. It is my honor tonight to present the McLean Scholarship Fund Award to this Academy of the Redwoods student to help with his educational expenses. The award for $2,000 goes to Ethan Hale. Congratulations, Ethan. payback for nagging these guys to fill out their scholarship applications when they get to walk up on the stage and get one. All right, so um, 
Our final scholarship is one that's very special to the AR staff. Um, in May of 2012, AR student Alive Richard died suddenly after becoming ill. Our community was affected very deeply by this loss and established this award in his memory. The Alive Richard Memorial Scholarship is dedicated to honoring the life and contributions of Alive Richard to the AR community. As a first year student, Alive transformed the AR community immediately and began using his humor and intelligence to create strong relationships and connections. His peers and teachers would refer to him as the glue that held them all together. He had this unique ability to build relationships with many different groups of people and with tact and grace, he enhanced the classroom mission. This year's Alive Richard Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to a student who is dedicated to helping others. They have consistently been a positive force, not only to our learning community, but to our community as a whole. This student has overcome great obstacles to cross the stage today. And we want you to know that the AR staff believes in you and wholeheartedly supports your dreams and aspirations. So in the spirit of Alive Richard, it is my honor to present this $1,000 scholarship to Ms. Alex Pena. All right, I lied, I have one more. <laughs> this next scholarship uh, from the Bill and Juanita Thompson Scholarship Fund in the amount of $2,000 goes to Miss Sage Roy. To stand out in this class academically um, is an incredible accomplishment. There are some in this group that one might consider a bit academically competitive. In fact, they even inspired a new board policy. With the helps, help of these students, two of whom will be acknowledged shortly, it was established that in order to be the valedictorian, um, once must not, one must not only earn the highest GPA, but also graduate with their cohort. So this year, our highest GPA earner is graduating one year early. <laughs> you can clap for that, that's great. <laughs> but therefore is not in, uh, eligible for the title. So um, this student spends a lot of time in my office, and I've had the pleasure of working with him, all the people we're about to call up, um, and it's really just been an absolute pleasure. So even though um, you didn't get the title of valedictorian, you were still ranked one in the class, and it goes without saying that this exceptional student and human being deserves recognition. So ranked one in the class of 2019 with a GPA of 4.79, <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Jack Flyer. I feel like it's kind of hard to like follow up giving away money because like I don't know, I don't have any money to give away right now. But anyway, um, also, I'm really congested, and I hope like this camera doesn't show like my snot in my nose. But anyway, just ignore that. Um, 
Uh, so welcome graduating class of 2019, families, friends, and everyone else that is here to celebrate all of us, including the many individuals in the audience who have helped pave the way for these graduates and myself. Um, I'd like to take this brief opportunity to thank Academy of the Redwoods for encouraging us all, each and every one of us, to find our path and seize the opportunities presented to us in order to acquire the virtues needed for a fruitful future. Um, what is your path? What is our path? We all have a path and journey to follow in life, and on it, we should strive to do better than the best we can do. Now, the amazing thing about Academy of the Redwoods is the simple fact that they allow for students to always find greatness, but not necessarily in the same areas and not necessarily in search of the same goals. Um, graduating today, we have such a wide variety of examples of students who decided on what was right for them, who stuck to it, and who either got a start or completed a degree or certificate in a field that they want to make a difference in. In this group, every single student is graduating with some form of college exposure and experience. We have multiple students graduating with their general educations completed. Um, we have students who are getting career vocational degrees in a multitude of areas. Uh, that who can start a life right after this ceremony concludes, working to improve our community or the communities they choose to move to. And we have students graduating with history degrees, science degrees, math degrees, communications degrees, and more. Um, some students are even graduating with two degrees, honors, distinctions, or and others early, or with seals of biliteracy, which I think is pretty cool. Um, although this is all wickedly impressive, graduations often fail to highlight the other students in the group who may not be as decorated with fancy medals and cords, but who have really overcome the biggest barriers to be here today earning a diploma. These students are the ones who may not go home to an easy life, who have to take the bus for hours each day just to get to school, who ride their bike in the rain and wind just to make it to that final on time, who balance a job, a position of care for younger siblings, and a multitude I already said multitude, but I'm saying it again, of college, <laughs> high school classes, and extracurricular activities and classes on a daily basis, and ones who have worked to overcome social and emotional anxiety, ones who just don't like school or don't find success as easily as their counterparts do. And these are the students that AR was really created for and the ones that I wanted to recognize in this speech for I'm honored to be graduating with such a diverse group, and by diverse, I do not simply mean by race or gender, but rather by the many different factors that are often used to separate the group, but in really the end, bring us together, like family background, socioeconomic status, area of residence, language, body type, skin color, religion, sexual preference, home life, and simple ideas of success. So I ask, why should we only celebrate academic achievement when some of the most monumental achievers on the stage today are not the ones you see speaking or highlighted, but rather the underdogs who often go unnoticed, but are truly doing the most? So once again, I encourage all of us to seize opportunity no matter where it presents itself and within everyone's different path. Find success and always strive to be better than the best you can be, and along the way, attempt to always be kind, humble, generous, and with each and every one of, with each and every one of your many attributes. Sorry, I just voice cracked right there. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you, Jack. Okay. This past week, it became clear that we might not be able to run our school out the office without the help of this young man. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. <laughs> we considered holding him back, but we will find the courage to continue without him. Okay. Thank you for your willingness to help AR staff anytime, anywhere, and congratulations on your academic accomplishments. This year's salutatorian with a GPA of 4.36 is Mr. Joseph Ignacio. Hello. I would like to welcome friends and family who are gathered with us today to celebrate the Academy of the Redwoods Class of 2019 graduation. My name is Joseph Ignacio, and, is, and it is a great privilege to be here today with my fellow classmates as we all walk across the stage to, re to receive this honor of graduating high school. 
We've worked so hard for the past four years, along with the support of our friends and family, to get to where we are today, wearing our cap and gowns with a smile. However, this is, the only, this is only the beginning of the rest of our lives. We still have yet to discover the next chapter of our lives. But let's take a moment to reflect upon this chapter. During these past four years, we have truly experienced so much that has prepared us for our next journey. I wouldn't take the experiences I've had at AR for granted because of the many opportunities that each of us were given. We came in as first years trying to get used to the college campus environment, meeting the wonderful and amazing teachers, making friends, trying to get used to walking long distances from class to class and getting used to the long class periods. Then we became second years where we were balancing both college and high school classes at the same time, trying to keep up. Next thing you know, we became third years where we began to think about college and our future a little bit more. But third year was probably considered the best year because we didn't have to worry about graduating just yet or balancing any high school and college classes. But as fourth year came around, our journey as high schoolers were nearing its end. It was full of college applications, a lot of homework, life, and responsibilities that just continued to pile on. However, here we are now sitting with our cap and gowns, proudly sharing this moment with you, with you all, showing that we made, we made it. I never really thought about four years would race by that fast. Every, every AR alumni who I've spoken to told me that four years can go by very fast. No matter how much I denied that concept, being that I was a first year, I had to find out for myself in the end. We've overcame many obstacles that continue to motivate us to reach new heights. And with the love and support of friends and family, we found that challenges were just another reason for trying and pushing hard to becoming who we are meant to be. To the parents, thank you so much for guiding and watching us grow, for putting your best in us and being there to help us when needed. And thank you so much for always being there to be encouraging when it came to taking chances, risk, and opportunities, for putting, for, for, for putting us before yourselves at times to help us succeed. We also appreciate the lectures, moments, and endless amounts of love. You guys are one of the main reasons why we are standing here today to receive our diplomas. And a special thanks to my parents for working night and day, making sure all of us siblings were raised right. I do everything I can because they did it for me. So thank you. To the teachers who push us to reach beyond our limits, who put timeless efforts to make each and every student understood the concept sharing not only the moments of education, but laughter, jokes, and love. Thank you so much for teaching us how to be our own leaders and to always stay positive through every situation. The amount of support you've given each student is proof that each of us have our very own personal relationship that we've established and that we can always look back on. There are plenty of memories that I have in mind and would love to share with y'all, but this one sums it up. I would like to share a, a conversation with y'all that I had with my basketball coach, Jacob Godinez, who's also our Algebra II and Chemistry teacher. During a Friday morning, I was with Samantha Broadstock, our secretary, just having a normal conversation when Coach Godinez enters the office, looks at me, and asks if I was ready to play our second seasonal basketball game. With great confidence, I told him that I had to be ready. However, my response didn't even come close to showing that I was ready. Even Coach Godinez noticed how nervous I was. But even though it was hard to recall the entire conversation, I would never forget the specific words that he told me that day. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm always hard on myself whenever I fail to do something right. But his word is what made me keep my head up. He told me to never let my mistakes become a domino effect, that I had to look at my mistakes as a lesson learned and to do better the next time. My teammates are counting on me, and they can't do that if I have my head down. To relate these specific words to my, to my four years at Academy of the Redwoods, not everyone is perfect. In order to learn and grow, you have to experience falling down and getting back up. Success isn't just a straight line to the top. You'll encounter many different obstacles that will push you down, make you start over, redirect you in, into a different direction you don't want to be in, and overall try to change you. But you know what? That's okay because those obstacles make us resilient and shape us who we are. And I can't forget to all our friends who, who were always there whenever we needed someone to talk and socialize with. Thank you for supporting us, having our backs, sharing laughs, and even being competitive with us. 
One thing that my friends have shown me and that I would never forget was that school wasn't the only thing that we all have our focuses on, but to live a little. In other words, we will get there to, we will, we will get to where we want to be eventually. So why not have a little fun along the way? Lastly, I would like to leave you all with the word of advice. Do what it takes to become the greatest. Whether, the, whether it is practicing to become a professional athlete, dancer, musician, scientist, mathematician, or whatever career path or passion that is important to you, just remember that in order to get there, you have to push beyond your limits, come out of your comfort zone, learn from your failures, and never give up. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. The young man I'm about to introduce to you is quite different from the one who showed up to start AR as a first year four years ago. Not only has he earned two degrees, but has matured into an incredibly thoughtful and compassionate human being. The class of 2019 valedictorian with a GPA of 4.74, Grammy Awad. Good afternoon, friends, families, and staff. To my class, in the words of Mr. Chatfield, good afternoon, scholars. <laughs> I've literally always wanted to do that. <laughs> my fellow graduates, four years ago, or two million minutes ago, we took a risk. We took a risk to come here. We made the choice to come here, to this school, Academy of the Redwoods. We all knew this was a big decision. This is clearly not a traditional high school. I mean, where else do you get an English teacher who teaches you vocabulary words with flow cab rap songs? <laughs> Two teachers or basketball coaches who challenge their players on to two-on-two -two basketball games and win. <laughs> a caring and beloved secretary who sends her own Bitmoji stickers for special occasions, <laughs> such as your month of fasting as, as you observe Ramadan. A biology teacher who actually goes out of her way to hatch and care for baby chicks in the SSC. I mean, do you know how long and hard Bruce worked to make his mark on our school by naming our, a wolf as our school mascot? <laughs> now, <laughs> Now we've replaced that fierce wolf with a bunch of cute little baby chicks as our new mascots, thanks. Oh, and how about a math teacher who greets you like this? Good morning, Rami, yes or no? <laughs> I go, wait, what? Yes or no? <laughs> but what's the question? The question is yes or no? <laughs> um, yes. Thank you very much. You've just agreed to doing my taxes for the year. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Do you all know how at the end of a forum it asks you if you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Well, in high school, I was always that kid who had questions, comments, or concerns. <laughs> Heck, I probably spent half a million of my minutes asking Mrs. Hodges and Bruce questions like, should I take Chemistry 1A? How do I make my resume? Do you think I should be the first doctor on Mars? <laughs> You're telling me my freshman year isn't the time to start worrying about my entire future? <laughs> it's no wonder they spent a lot of that time laughing at me in their office. <laughs> no, we're laughing with you, Rami, they would reassure me. Now, I would like to thank everyone who has helped me make it this far, because I know that I certainly could not have pulled this off alone. To my family, thank you for giving me the reason to push myself as hard as I do. To my friends and peers, thank you for always looking out after me and having my back when I've needed it most. 
I couldn't have possibly asked for a better bunch to go through this crazy adventure with. To my teachers, thank you for always going out of your ways to help us and enlighten us. The gift of knowledge is unlike any other gift, for knowledge is a superpower. It, it truly is, and for that I am forever in your debt. Even though I'm on the verge of adulthood and seem to have everything figured out, I don't. I'm still a kid, and to be honest, I'm absolutely freaking out on the inside right now. <laughs> but I like to think that it's okay to be nervous, because nerves show you care. And I care because that's how much the relationships in this tight-knit community mean to me. All of you in this community have truly helped me grow over the years. I appreciate how it was possible to build these incredibly profound relationships here at AR. It really did help for us to be big fish together in this small pond. In fact, I've learned a lot as a fish over these years of high school. So now I'd like to share a couple of things I've learned. First of all, do what you love and love what you do, right? Isn't that the purpose of life? If you do what you love and love what you do, then that'll carry you through life. We as humans or fish are known to work better when we're happy and enjoying life. So try to find something you love in life and pursue it. Go after it. Next, I believe that you need to set big goals in life. As one of my favorite motivational speakers, Les Brown, has said, it is far worse to aim too low and to hit rather than to aim too high and to miss. Or more poetically put, shoot for the moon, and if you miss, at least you will land among the stars. With this mentality, you learn a lot more in the process of your journeys and grow much more as a person. So it's okay to fail sometimes. In fact, it's okay to fail a lot in life. That's the only way we grow mentally and personally. Another strategy for growing into a bigger fish is simply to seek advice. I cannot begin to explain how important it is, first, to openly admit when you need help. Second, to allow yourself to receive that help. And third, to offer help back to others. We live in a world where collaboration builds us up and competition breaks us down. So don't be a soloist. Except for you, Mr. C, you're really great at the trumpet. <laughs> Always try to work with others to achieve not only your personal goals, but also your shared goals. One way that seeking advice and being collaborative makes your life easier is by maximizing your time. Time is underappreciated. We take it for granted, even though it's one of the few things that we literally cannot get enough of. Making the most of our time is important for that very reason. Each moment is so precious that we simply cannot afford to waste it. While time itself may not be in our locus of control, we can control how we use our time. We're able to choose how we spend every minute of our day. That choice of how we use our time is more powerful than we think. At the end of the day, our past should not be of any concern to us. We should make an effort to devote our time and energy wisely and strive to make the rest of our lives the best of our lives. The only way to reach this goal, however, is by managing our most valuable resource while we still have it, time. And at this time, we are gathered here today at something we like to call graduation or commencement. We like to think of these events as the closing to the, to, as a closing to the end, as the closing or end to a chapter of a story. Got it that time. But what about going back to the root of the word commencement? To commence. We are here to reminisce in the good old times we had throughout these years of high school. Yet we are also here to look forward to the future as we start this brand new chapter in our lives, moving into new ponds of our own. But let us never forget where we came from this little pond here called Academy of the Redwoods. Going forward, 
Even though we won't all be neighbors, let us not be strangers. May we never forget where it all started, the staff who helped us along the way, and the friends we journeyed with. As Charles Dickens once said, the pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Jack, Joe, and Rami for three wonderful speeches. Let's give our, a round of applause for our three speakers. So you came to, here tonight to watch a special person in your life graduate, so I promise to be brief. I'd like to start with a quote from Walter Elliott. He said that perseverance is not a long race, it is many short races, one after another. Graduates, you persevered a lot of short races through 720 school days of school, or days of school, many classroom assignments, homework assignments, history day, Redwood Empire math tournament, minority priority, galleries of learning, club activities, dances, college scholarships, college applications, and finally, countless hours of lost sleep as you tried to get it all done. Well, you made it. Before we read the names of the graduates and list all their accomplishments, I feel it's, I should tell you a little bit more about this extraordinary group of students. AR students completed 1,932 college units while attending high school. That's an average of 40 units per student. You can clap for that. Our high school students are required to, co uh, to um, finish 50 hours of community service. Well, our students blew that out of the water. They completed, as a, as a group, 6,510 volunteer hours in the community. That's over 135 hours per graduate. Our students will attend quite a few different colleges next year. Some are staying to finish their degrees at College of the Redwoods. Others have enrolled in many of the California State Universities. A few grads will attend out-of-state colleges. And we even have a few students going to the University of California, Santa Cruz, Davis, Merced, Berkeley, and UCLA. Plus, plus one of our students is heading off to Stanford. Congratulations, AR students. Well done on completing so many of those short races. I believe it's evident that this class has worked hard and persevered. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the Academy of the Redwoods Class of 2019. I would now like to bring Superintendent Glenn Senestraro to the stage for the certification of today's graduates. Okay, mine's only about eight pages, so don't worry about it. As a superintendent of the Fortuna Union High School District, I hereby certify these students have met all the requirements of the Fortuna Union High School District Board of Education, the California Department of Education, to be eligible for participation in this Academy of the Redwoods graduation ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2019. we now like to bring up trustee Carla Diaz to help with the presentation of the diplomas.
Noah Xander Colchin. <laughs> Noah plans on attending UC Davis and after that working somewhere, hopefully as an engineer. He also wants to make lots of money. He plans on being rich and owning a fancy car. A real car. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Oh, uh, <laughs> Noah earned 45 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. Sorry, Noah. Gardner Boyce. While attending Academy of the Redwoods, Gardner earned 60 college units. His plans after high school are to cry, <laughs> attend UC Davis for physical science, sorry, physical science engineering. Either or? Okay. Elizabeth Florine Wilson. <laughs> Elizabeth earned 31 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to get her certificate in ECE and to begin working as an entry-level preschool teacher to then transfer to HSU and look into studying speech and language pathology and other career options while working towards her bachelor's degree. Thomas Allen Costa Darby. <laughs> Tom earned 32 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be going to Chico State to get a BS in electrical engineering. <laughs> Derek Alistair Brown. Derek earned 35 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending CR and after a year will transfer to HSU. <laughs> Joseph Sonny Bestoige Ignacio. <laughs> I tried. Joe earned his Associate of Arts degree from CR in Science Exploration just a week ago. Uh, has earned 69.5 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be, after high school, plans to continue his education at UC Berkeley in the fall, majoring in civil engineering, and then to, he hopes to apply for grad school for a master's degree. Rami Awad. Rami, Rami received his Associate of Art degree in Liberal Arts Science, an Associate of Science degree in Mathematics for transfer just a week ago from CR, and achieved 83 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. Wait. Starting in the fall, he will be pursuing the pre-med track at Stanford University and, <laughs> and will go on to graduate with a bachelor's degree in either human biology or bioengineering. From there, he will attend medical school to graduate with an MD. MD. After a few years of residency, he will continue his journey into the medical field. Alexandra Peña Pimentel. <laughs> Alex earned 39 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending UC Merced in the fall to major in philosophy and to work her way to become an attorney.
Faith Marie Comerer. Faith earned 57 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and is planning on attending Sonoma State, majoring in biochemistry. Sidlali <laughs> Orozco Vielma. A week ago, Sitlali received her ECE certificate from College of the Redwoods and, while at Academy of the Redwoods, earned 36 college units. She, be she will begin, or has begun, working as a preschool teacher and plans to return to CR to earn her associate degree in psychology and then transfer to a four-year school. Zoe Rose Laytard. <laughs> Zoe earned 32 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending UC Santa Cruz to receive a Bachelor of Arts in Art and Design. Sorry, I can't read, I'm sorry. In Art and Design, Games and Playable Media. Alicia Rose Giamo. <laughs> Alicia earned 27 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will continue at CR to complete her AA degree in the arts. She then plans to transfer to a CSU or private college and major in visual communication. Valjinder Carr. A week ago, Finney received her Certificate of Achievement in Early Childhood Education from CR and plans to, con oh, and also earned 33 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. She plans to continue school at CR to complete her AA degree in Early Childhood Education and then transfer to a four-year school for her bachelor's degree. Patrizia Constanza Fox Baudet. <laughs> Patrizia completed 40 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to move on to Humboldt State University to pursue a bachelor's degree in English. <laughs> Caitlin Nolan. Caitlin earned 46 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending Southern Oregon University to get a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's in social work. <laughs> Jack Flyer. A week ago, Jack received his Associate of Arts degree in Communications and Humanities, as well as an Associate of Science degree for UC Transfer in Mathematics. In three years, Jack has earned 70 college credits. <laughs> After graduating, Jack will attend UCLA in the fall so he can transfer his degrees in general education to graduate there in two years at the age of 18. He then plans to apply for grad school at MIT or Stanford, hoping to finish up his master's at the age of 20. He then hopes to do real estate development. <laughs> Miriam Brichta. Miriam earned 64 credits while at, how many? Oh, that's right, it was a five, sorry. 54, it was close. And we'll be attending UC Davis in the fall.
Ariana Alia Castillo. Ariana earned 53 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending UC Davis in the fall as a theater and dance major while on a pre-med track. She then hopes to attend the UC Davis School of Medicine. Andrew Perry Rice. Andrew earned 42 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and says he hopes to become a writer, but he already is. <laughs> Vincent Scott Messina. Vincent earned 52 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to finish his Igetsi degree and then attend a four-year university pursuing aerospace engineering and business. <laughs> Sage Coral Stanton. A week ago, Sage received an Associate of Arts degree in Humanities and Communications from CR and earned 61 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. She will be studying English at UC Berkeley. Aiden Fraser Nielsen. <laughs> Aiden earned 35 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will attend UC Riverside for a Bachelor's in Materials Engineering. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Schultz. Hannah earned 39 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending CSU East Bay to finish her general education and pre-rec classes to then go into the nursing program and specialize in OBGYN and most importantly, to be happy. <laughs> Noe Sanchez Nino. A week ago, Noe received his Associate of Art degree in History and has earned 60 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. He will be attending HSU, double majoring in History and Economics, all the while living life in the present moment, taking it day by day. <laughs> Andrea Vargas Lopez. Andrea earned 42 units while attending Academy of the Redwood Woods. I know the names for. Uh, she will be taking a gap semester where she will gain work experience and spend more time with family. After that, she will come back to CR to get an associate's degree. <laughs> Olivia Giovanetti. Olivia earned 46 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending HSU to major in marine biology and hopes to attend UC San Diego for graduate school. <laughs> Sage Roy. <laughs> Sage 
Sage earned 46 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be studying marine biology and scientific diving at HSU. <laughs> Lucas David Pravat. Lucas earned 32 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be coming back to CR to get a degree in nursing. <laughs> Zoe Moore. <laughs> Zoe earned 29 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to attend Sonoma State University to earn a degree in psychology and to eventually become a therapist. <laughs> Allison Lund. <laughs> Allison earned 27 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will go on to study music and theater at Southern Virginia University. Kiana Megan Clark. A week ago, Kiana earned her post-dispatching certificate at CR and 30 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. She plans to become a police dispatcher for the Sheriff's Department. <laughs> Molly Ann Reagan. Molly earned 27 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will be attending Humboldt State where she plans to get a degree in chemistry and a minor in Spanish. <laughs> Laura Margaret Reagan. Laura earned 27 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to end, attend HSU and get a bachelor's degree in history and minor in linguistics. Two, po sorry. <laughs> Two possible goals are to teach English in Japan or to become a speech therapist. Miranda Claire Thiessen. Miranda earned 35 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will complete her associate's degree next year at CR and then transfer to a four-year university. <laughs> Caleb Kranz. Caleb earned 50 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans to continue on at CR for a year and then transfer either to a UC or a CSU. <laughs> Ethan James Hale. Ethan earned 27 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will continue going to CR to earn his A.S. degree in business. Jason Charles Patton. Jason earned 38 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans on finishing his A.S. degree in welding technology here at CR. Amalia Medea Marie Oliver. <laughs> Amalia earned 40 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will plan on continuing to attend College of the Redwoods to finish her English Igetsi degree for transfer. After, she would like to transfer to Sacramento State or HSU.
<laughs> Skylar Lowe. In three years at Academy of the Redwoods, Skylar earned 30 college credits. She will be staying at CR for another year and then transfer to a four-year school to get her bachelor's degree in criminology. <laughs> Caleb Tate Atwood. Caleb earned 41 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and will, to continue, will continue attending CR to finish an AS degree in digital media. <laughs> Caleb Micah Harrison. Caleb earned 34 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans on finishing up his education at CR. <laughs> Emily Paul. A week ago at CR's graduation, Emily received her Certificate of Achievement in Early Childhood Education. She also earned 33 college units while attending Academy of the Redwoods. She plans to work full-time as a preschool teacher. <laughs> Elisha Esther Pike. Elisha will be going to Frederick and Charles Beauty School. <laughs> Tyler W. Brocious. <laughs> Tyler earned 24 units while attending Academy of the Redwoods and plans on continuing his education, his education in the field of manufacturing. Hey, you're good. Graduates, please rise. It's my last chance to tell you what to do. <laughs> Graduates, if you'd move your tassels from the right to the left, please. I am more than proud to present to you the graduating class of 2019.
congratulations to everyone. Thank you for coming.